My name is Artis and today we will ponder the question how Aatrox looked like before he became a Darkin. To understand about whom we are talking, we have to start in Shirima, the biggest continent in Runeterra, which was home to the greatest empire that man had ever built. A large part of Shirima now is a desert, but it was once filled with rivers and the land prospered. The Shuriman had vast armies and monuments built by the hands of thousands of slaves. But all this power was eclipsed by their greatest achievement that would eventually be their downfall. Shuriman's neighbors to the west are the tribes and clans of Mount Targon, Runeterra's highest mountain. If someone survives the climb and is deemed worthy, the peak connects the mortal realm to the celestial realm and bestows unbelievable godlike powers upon the person. The Tagonians helped the Shurimans to replicate this effect, and so the first sun disks were raised. Great constructs that could, with the power of the sun, achieve a similar connection as the mountain peak. The god warriors of Sunborn were nearly indestructible, had unearthly regenerative powers and, and became basically immortal. These demigods often had the looks of a mixture between man and beast. One of the oldest and greatest was Aatrox. He was an avatar from a forgotten celestial idea, remade as one of the ascended. His wings were the golden light of dawn and his armor sparkled like the constellations of hope beyond the Great Veil. Vale. Throughout all of Shirima he was fighting at the forefront. And then Ikathia, a conquered vassal state, rebelled against their masters and in hope of defiance opened a door into nothingness. The uncomprehendable terrors of the void came into the world and devoured everything. But the ascended fought and although it took them years of constant battle, they eventually shut the biggest rifts and halted the void's approach. They triumphed, but even in victory everyone, even Aatrox, lost something. Shurima lasted for another 500 years until Azir, a young emperor, and his friend, slave Zerath, planned to ascend the young regent. But Azir was betrayed by Zerath, who harnessed the power of the great sun disk and became more powerful than any ascended before him. In an instant, the city, the emperor, and all its people were obliterated. And although Zerath was captured and sealed, the city was swallowed by the desert. The Ascended started fighting over the ruins of the Empire and in constant battles did monstrous atrocities towards the common people. Eventually this became a war for the ruins of the world. Mortals fleeing the conflict came to know them instead by a new and scornful name, the Darken. And so it was Targon who intervened again, and with the power of the moon, the aspect of twilight unmade what the sun had made and gave a weapon to the mortals, who were able to seal the darkens inside their weapons. And so Aatrox's immortal essence was trapped in the blade. Now from this recap we can get a few notes. First of all, Aatrox was a warrior in his prime, so he can't be younger than approximately in his mid-twenties and he shouldn't be older than 50. He must be or most likely be of Shuriman origin, but as we already established, Shurima is a huge continent, so he could also be from Targon or he could be from Ishtar. But looking at Shurima at this time, before the God Warriors became really a thing, it's more likely that he originates from the main Shuriman land. And he must most likely have been physically strong due to his warrior appearance. Now first I take some references, so I look at different actors or people who come from Arabic, North African countries and I try to put them all next to each other so that I can get a better picture. Due to the Shuriman diversity it's hard to pinpoint Aatrox, but I go for the more Arabic Egyptian representations because first of all the main Shuriman influence is Egyptian and I think it's a good point to start. And, and on the other hand, I think darker skin types are already represented by people like Lucian or Senna. And the Indian parts are already represented by Akshan. I first sketch the line work. Then I color it in to get a feeling for the skin values and tones. And finally, I render it for the next phase. 
In the next step I add some eyeshadow and makeup and you might ask why. So let me explain my decision starting with the hair. Shuriman people are known to braid the hair and additionally Atrox is a warrior so in this case I thought braided hair would be a lot more practical. I also added a golden bead in it because it adds to the Shuriman aesthetics. Continuing with the makeup, Aatrox always has these dark shadows underneath his eyes. This is a part of his design that I wanted to preserve. Giving it this very dark wet mascara look is not quite what I wanted to go for. So I included some golden elements and looking at ancient Egyptian makeup you can also see the dark eye marks. And combining this gives a unique style that we do not have in any other country in Runeterra. I made the makeup golden and black because first of all Aatrox feels to me like someone who really could have like very light brown yellow eyes and in a country where gold and light are worshipped uh, darkening the surrounding space to increase the effect works really well next up i wanted to give him something nearly royal a headpiece to nod to his later transformation and also a nod to ancient egyptian headpieces there i involved the shuriman sun disk and a blue crystal for the streams of the waters that like the Nile flow through Shurima. Having that said, I think we have a proper Shurima soldier at our hands and can continue with the Ascended. Now we're getting at the thick of it and you might be asking what kind of animal is he? And I will have to disappoint you. Because I don't think he will be one. I think Aatrox is something like Kale or Morgana. Let me explain to you. First of all, Aatrox has no description of an animal form. Even writers only say that he used to be a winged being and uh, no one is actually quite sure what he is. Second, I will give you an example um, of what he says in his story The Cage. I will achieve only a grotesque mockery of my former glory. I was light and reason given shape. And this doesn't sound to me like, like a reptilian, like a bird. Maybe the bird is the closest or he goes to the form of a dragon or something like this. The other possibility could be the Sand Chimera from Legends of Runeterra. It looks very similar, although I think it clashes with the Fallen Angel thematic. It does not work great with the noble aspect. Nevertheless, I would love his design to be something like this. But it sounds to me a lot like what Kale is. You can also see the references in the voice lines. Let me show you your error, Kale. You are not worthy of ascension. You are not worthy of the worms. You would bind yourself to this realm, Morgana? Fine, let me show you the ground. Die, Kale. Knowing your potential will never be reached. You disgust me, Morgana. Die in the filth of your bound flesh. We have the Forgotten Ideal passage, where it sounds a lot more like Targon. And coming to point 5, if you look at the Silver Sister or the Golden Sister in Legends of Runeterra, or the aspect of the Traveler, you can see that the faces are very similar to the one Aatrox has in his splash art. It also has the line going from the mouth up to the cheekbones. Having said all that, looking at all the hints that Riot made towards Kale, he might have been home to something very similar than the aspect of justice. Now to the design part. First of all I added the rest of the helmet and the horns and I thought about how horns could look positive. So I colored them green, like jade, and green also being in the Shuriman logo and in its color palette. And then I went all in and I thought, well, if Aatrox has these glittering constellations in his armor, maybe I can also use it in his skin. And I went with something that looked like Aurelian Souls skin or the mantle of Pantheon. And I really liked it because it gave him something that clearly says Targon and on the other hand clearly says Shurima. And then I tried some different colors. I went back and forth and later then realized, okay, I should probably calm it a bit down and go for the ascended faces like in Legends of Runeterra. And here are all the faces side by side. This is not everything because the Darkens blade had to change as well. 
Luckily, Wright's character artists shared their designs, so this was short work. The original art is from David Cole. He now is a senior concept artist at Battlebound. You can find his art station in the description. I took the designs, scaled it up and got going. First I colored him and then I changed a bit of his proportions so that he would be more symmetrical. His armor was smoothened and I added a few details. I also let the left arm be unarmored. It is very akin to Fiora because Aatrox also being a swordsman, having a heavily armored left arm doesn't make that much sense. I think that if Aatrox needed to be armored, he could always take up a shield. And on the other hand, beating an Aatrox in his power would be nearly impossible. Here I also went with the green design choice, because as I mentioned before, Aatrox was the standout Shuriman warrior. And he was there for about 4450 years. And if someone fought every foe and has to represent the ascended past and present, it is Aatrox. And Shreem's colors are green, gold and turquoise. The next steps were wings, where I doubled down on the morning light angelic theme. And finally, for everyone who really wants the animal shape, I also added a helmet shaped in a bird-like mask. Because Khonshu is a cool and crazy guy and in ancient Egypt those animals were worshipped in the shape of gods. For the blade I took inspiration from Shuriman influence, especially the ranked border in gold, where you get the blade from the top. You can see the tip of the blade has a very similar design. I also took away a few of the sharper edges and smoothed it out a bit, so that it would look more carefully crafted and less like a demonically possessed sword. For this video I chose Aatrox, because he's a mysterious character and he's also a character who connects a lot of regions in his stories. If you have any suggestions about better champion depictions, lore skins or similar things, leave me a comment and give a thumbs up, it really goes a long way. I'm Arthas and I'll catch you in the next one.